Okay. Uh, now I'm unmuted. Yes. You hear me? Yes. I can't hear you. So let me see if I. Okay, now I can. Wonderful. Now is the music that I have too loud? I don't hear any right okay. now. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. So let's get this going. All right. Well, hi, everybody. This is Patricia Jo Grover, your goal achievement strategist. And I'm welcoming you today to this episode with Barbara Ann Cookson. She's a superhero speaker and she's an author of A Superhero You, which is a new workbook that's available in uh, under the brand of Unbelievable Freedom Books. Hi, Barb. Hi, Patty. <laughs> Glad to be here. Thanks. Wonderful. Well, this is so exciting because this is my first attempt on my podcast to have a guest, my first, awesome. first guest. So this is wonderful. Awesome. Um, so the vodcast name is focus on your future, because this is something that, you know, we all have it. We just need to start focusing and have the curiosity to know what our future is going to hold for us. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, so all this week, Barb, um, on my social media, I have been talking about different topics. And these are all topics that tie back to my book and the whole platform and how I work with people. Okay. okay. So, you know, the, the things that we talked about were fears, you know, those, that, that's uh, the big one that it goes yeah. throughout my book. We talk about that because we deal all deal with it through life, our, yeah. our fears. Yeah. Um, I also talked about being curious, being courageous and being consistent and the importance of those things. And we talked about um, this week about, our whys and having to know and understand our whys. And we also, I talked about having our GPS system. Okay. So That's we're going to have a conversation and go back and forth and, and touch bases on all these things and the importance of them. Great. Awesome. So I say we all have baggage. So let's name it and claim it. And fear is the biggest one of all. Yeah. By, by far, fear yeah. is the biggest one. Um, so some people say it's false evidence appearing real, you know, and another people will say, well, false ex expectations appearing real. Yeah. You know, but maybe <laughs> the best way to look at it is, you know, face everything. And rise. Sorry about that. My doggy is barking. <laughs> that's, that's the, uh, that's the beauty of video, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's real. It's being real. We're both real people <laughs> with real lives. Okay. You will stop. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, so looking at it as face everything in rise, you know, the fear is let's, let's find a way to put those fears, make them smaller so we can continue manage on, Ma manage them. Yeah. Okay. So we, once we confront our fears and, and sometimes we have to break them way down, you know, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time, you know? <laughs> Do that with the fears, break it down to, to, to what is manageable for you to be able to move on. Exactly. So, so Barb, um, do you have a fear or fears that you've, you've faced in? Oh my gosh. Do I have fears? <laughs> yeah. You know, doing, doing your speaking. Cause you started out with your speaking and then you wrote your workbook. Yes. And yes. You go, and you're doing, um, different workshops and stuff regarding I, that. So, so I hear have. some of that. Um, well, probably the biggest fear that I've overcome, and um, I, I don't remember if it's in this particular workbook but, or in a previous, uh, previous edition of it, but the biggest fear that I've overcome, of course, is, is by far speaking, um, speaking in public, public speaking, um, and actually speaking in private as well. When I was a kid, I, I developed this fear of speaking and I became completely uh, introverted and I literally closed in on myself and I wouldn't speak. I wouldn't <laughs> speak to adults. I wouldn't look at an adult. <laughs> Sorry about my dog. That's Winston. That's Winston, the wonder dog. Hold on. Winston. Winston just wants to be on video too. Winston, Winston wants to be on TV. <laughs> um, so yeah, my, my biggest fear was 
always speaking. Um, and, and it became, it became crippling really because I couldn't speak to adults. I couldn't speak to people. I, I literally would not talk. Um, and, and I ended up in therapy as a child. <laughs> My parents took me to, um, counselors every week to try to get me past it. And, and I don't remember those counseling sessions, but whatever the guy did worked <laughs> because <laughs> apparently I'm talking. Yeah. Um, that's the biggest fear I, I think that I've overcome and, and it's always a fear of the unknown. I think that people have to deal with. It's always a big issue. Um, we get complacent and we get comfortable with where we are and we're afraid to step outside the box. Like you write about in your, <laughs> yes. yes. Um, and, and people are afraid to step outside the box because outside the box is the unknown. And, and we're not comfortable. We don't know what's going to happen. And if we stay where we are, we kind of know what to expect. So we just go along status quo. And, and we and stagnate. 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 We never step outside that box. Right. So, yeah, overcoming fears is, is huge, huge. Right. You know, um, so with that, as an example, I had a fear of putting myself out there. You know, yeah. writing the book and putting all my thoughts and and the way that I looked at things out, you know, to get it all out there. I had that feeling, you know, the fear of being judged and belittled. Oh, you gosh. Know, yeah. It, it, you know, we all have that. Oh, we all have that. Yeah, exactly. But but I'm here and I am doing my whole um, all my social media is talking about is what I share in my book that. I want people to know we are all real. You know, this happens to everyone. Life happens to everyone and throws us curveballs and things we have to deal with. Yeah. Um, but as a woman, um, there aren't many of us out there who stand up for our worth and, and put ourselves out there. It's harder for women, I believe, than men. I, I think you're right. I think you're right. And we don't, we don't own our value enough. I was just having that conversation with someone this morning. Um, we, need to, <coughs> we need to own our value. So very, so, so very true. You know, and, and that's the thing, too. Um, you know, looking at that, honestly, I believe the book and the entire platform that I have has the ability to make positive differences and changes for people all over the world, whether they are men or women, you know, and that's the thing. Men have a harder time listening to a woman and taking advice from a woman oh, yeah. when it comes to something. Oh, yeah. But I, as far as how I come across and I want other women to know, you know, we are all in this. It's just how we go about making those changes and allowing ourselves. That's the thing as women, we don't allow ourselves to actually dream and look for at our future, you know, and what it may hold for us. It's harder. For we want to be able to do that for people. And you are, I mean, I read your book and, and you are, it's, uh, it, it's powerful when we can speak up and, and own our truth and own our value and own our voice, because I think it gives courage to other women to do the same. Exactly. And that, that's why I am wanting to try to do more video and different things like that for people to see, you know, this is real and be able to make that connection because so many people out there are, um, the videos that they do, they're standing in front of, um, you know, big, don't you love those? Don't you love those videos? I mean, you know. I, and, and there's a lot of men doing that. They I do call that. BS. I call it's BS. Total BS. How many times have I opened up a, a an ad video um, with a guy opening the door to this multi million dollar mansion and inviting you into his multi million dollar home and his Lamborghinis? And you know, damn well he doesn't live there and that's not his car. Exactly. And it's ridiculous. Mm hmm. So let's, well, you know, let's get real. Get real with the dog barking and, <laughs> you know, but, but that's what we are. That's what both you and I are. That yeah, that's yeah. what we're here. And, and we want to, it for, for both of us, I know for both of us, it's not about how much money we can make or get from people. It's how much of a positive difference we can make in people's lives. Impact. Us, it's yeah, all about impact. For, for us, right. It, that's just as rewarding. Yeah. So that's priceless, you know, yeah. so I want to be able to get stories and hear, hear and get messages and hear stories from people the rest of my life, you know, yeah. of 
hey, I did that. You helped me do this and move forward and make a difference in my life. That in itself is. That's the reward. Gold. That's gold, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so, you know, going back to, you know, having that fear, you know, what does it look like? You know, what, what, what does it feel like? And, you know, what are you actually your beliefs? Cause this is, this is where it gets deep. And in my book, I start getting, you know, deep into it, you know, our belief systems, what we have of ourselves, what other people around us and what we were brought up with. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and in my workbook and in my, in my coaching, um, that's a big part of what I do too, um, is, uh, belief is a, is a superhero power and, and we need to activate it and we need to own it and we need to realize that our beliefs, where, where, where did your beliefs come from? Where did they come from? They come from our, our, uh, Don Miguel Ruiz writes about it in the Four Agreements. He writes uh, about domestication and about us being raised up, and as we're as we're being raised by our parents, our grandparents, our teachers, that they create in us our belief system. And then as we get older, um, w- with my clients and with my coaching, I I question them: where did where did their beliefs come from? And is it a belief system that is serving you? And if it isn't, do you have the willingness to choose another belief? And um, yeah, it's, it's just powerful work, powerful work. Exactly. And you and I both have clients that we work with. Um, I have some actually starting as young as high school, you know, that um, I'm working with and all the way up through till retirement because we have people that are shifting gears in their lives. Oh yeah. Looking at, okay, I, you know, I had this career, I had this whole life for this long, but now um, I want to take something I had as a hobby and start making money from it. And yep. All, yep. All, all those things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, I actually, so, so coming back to that um, with, we both have, uh, <laughs> both do a lot of the same things and we both are um starting you know we both took those things um took all the fears that we're dealing with and have been working with them and continue to work with them but how we started is we had to have the curiosity we had to had to have the curiosity of you know what will happen um you know i you know i have this i want to to be able to um, take this and make something out of it, mm-hmm. you know. So having that curiosity, yes, you know. So we have to have that curiosity. and like going and letting go of the fear. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So that goes into the next step, and the stuff I've been talking about this week was, you know, understanding that. Um, are you curious? You have to have the, you know, be curious. You have to be courageous, and the courageous deals with the fears, and that yes. never goes away. There's fears that. Uh, uh, follow us in our different different fears that we mm-hmm. work through no matter what we're doing absolutely you know? but then being consistent you know and we, with being consistent that is uh consistency is it's it's kind of a different between two different things or actually three different things you have to have organization to be consistent because you have to schedule that's yeah. you know scheduling and planning yeah. you know keeps you consistent, but you yeah. need to show up on a regular basis. Exactly. Um, you know, that's, that's the whole thing of and that. So it's taking it. all those things to put Ooh. them together and you have to show up in a way to move forward. Yeah. One of the things that helps me to stay consistent is habits. And, and that's, that's something too, that I, I coach people to do is have healthy habits and, and be aware of what your habits are. So many of us don't have habits and rituals that help keep us consistent and keep us on track for where we're moving forward. And, and when we get off base and get off balance with our habits, that's when, that's when I stumble and struggle. Um, so I, I, I coach people to actually make a conscious awareness of what their healthy habits are and keep them as a habit every day. Um, right. it's, it's all about consistency and momentum and mm-hmm. 
consistency will yeah. build momentum. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, really uncooperative puppy today. <laughs> But, you know, so going back to habits, because I did talk about that earlier this week, and I have a whole chapter about that in my book. And yeah. I also um, coach and, and um, mentor and work with people on, on habits themselves. Yep. Um, but they are all, we all have them. We all have habits. Some yeah. good, some bad, some, some, good, some bad, <laughs> you know, so we all have them. Um, but it's to take um, those and build a healthy, you know, healthy habits. To, and like you said, be consistent about them. Exactly. And, you know, have those rituals, have our own day, <laughs> our own rituals that we follow to help us. And that helps us keep strong because, you know, when we, when we have that, you know, when we're courage, you know, when we have courage and battle all our fears, that you know, that gives us, you know, that power, you know, that gives us a confidence to continue on, you know, and, and that all comes back to. And that's another power. <laughs> that's another power in my, in my program is confidence and building mm -hmm. confidence. And, and you're right. That's huge in, in keeping your habits and keeping your confidence. It's, it's all, it all rolls in together, doesn't it? Yeah. And actually that, that is, that's funny because again, this conversation is so, so real, but also flowing because confidence is, I have a quote that I say is, you know, doubts are contagious, but so is confidence. Confidence I feel is equally as contagious. It is. It is, it is. something. If you get that flowing, it's the momentum you talked about it's harder to get something going, but once it's going, it continues on. That's right. Um, you know, and that, and talking about continue on chapter six in my book says, don't quit. Yeah. Once you get going again, that momentum is hard enough to get going, but once you get going, don't quit. Yeah. And, you know? and, and you're right. When you do stop, um, it, it's so much harder to get back on that track and get back on that wheel and, and, and get your consistency and commitment back. Um, it's so easy to just give up when you lose that commitment and that confidence. So yeah, I, I'm right on board with you, Patty. <laughs> exactly. You know, we, and it, it happens to everybody. We're not talking about just us here, you know, yeah. and hopefully people can take the pieces of this and figure out how it affects them, you know, in, in the pieces of their lives. Yeah. You know, talking about that. Yeah. Um, you know, so um, fear of failure might be um, easier, um, an easier hurdle to, to, for, for all of us, you know, that knowing that we have um, that, you know, we may inadvertently self-sabotage ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I know everyone probably has done it, but they might not realize that they've done it, yeah. you know, yeah. and that's how I, when I work with people to, to figure out again, why and how that happened. Yeah. You know, and, and fear of failure too. One of the things I ask people is, okay, what is the absolute worst thing that can happen? And what is the absolute best thing that might happen? Exactly. And that's, that's what I talk with my, my, with my coaching clients and yeah. is, is really digging down deep. A lot of the work that I do is very emotional. You know, yeah. we get down to that because until you get to the core of something and break it down, you know, you really need to get in there and dig deep yeah. because that's when you're going to notice the best and biggest results. Yeah. 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 So, you know, again, everything, a lot of things go back to different fears that we have at different times. Yeah, for you sure. Know, um, you know, uh, throughout the course of the week, again, um, talk going back now is saying we got to have, we all, all have to have our whys, you know, and to know and understand what our whys are. Yeah. You know, going back to that is so that we can put a roadmap together on how we're going to get there. Agreed. Yeah. And, and lots of things stand in the way. Yeah. So there's that GPS system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that, you know, that we all need to have. Now, nowadays, our, our, our Google Maps, when we put something in Google Maps, 
it knows exactly where we're starting from. You know, it's right. pinned on there. So you just put in right. the, where you where you want to end up. But when we're working with dreams and goals and trying to achieve something, we need to know, you know, we have to have that curiosity and allow ourselves to dream to say where we want to end up. So right. Then we get that where we want to end up. Right. But then, you know, we need to know and really evaluate where we are. Where are we starting from? And so that's something I know that you talk about a little bit in your workbook. So I want to. Yeah, it is. And, and, and I've created, um, it sort of all came about from the audiences that I speak to over the last few years. And they were all asking for tools um, to take home and to take away that they could then share the information that I teach with their kids, with their families, with their coworkers. And I, so I, that's why I, I wrote the workbook. Um, but the, I've created a checklist that goes with it. And a part of that checklist, it's a daily checklist um, to, to help you stay on track with healthy habits, with goal setting, with staying consistent, with staying confident. Um, but one of the parts of that checklist is it's sort of like a pain scale. Have you ever seen in the hospital on the wall? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. They have right. a pain scale and they have all these little faces and you're supposed to tell them which which one of those faces um, is is how you're feeling today. Yeah, what, what level, yeah. What level is your pain is basically exactly. their scale. Well, I took those faces and I put them on a checklist and all you have to do is just circle where you are today. And I use my checklist in the morning, every morning. And it's basically, I sit down with my coffee and my checklist. And um, one section of the checklist is to circle the face that represents my mood today. And Perfect. it's it's for nothing else but to give us that GPS. It's that GPS point to right. plot your day. And all it is is empowering yourself to be aware of what is my mood today? What is my energy today? This is what it is. I'm going to own it. And either I'm going to own that and stay with that, or I'm going to choose another energy for today. Right. It's powerful. Exactly. It, it's not, it's not difficult. And some days you're just going to feel like crap and that's okay, but be aware of it and own it and be prepared that as you go into your day, that's your energy that you're carrying through. So you'll know how to react and what to respond to and what you can work on today. Tomorrow may be a better day and you'll be in a higher energy mood to create more, to do more and, and to move through your day in a better way. Exactly. You know, exactly. You know, so having that, and, and sometimes you have to really, um, it's an emotional thing again, you know, yeah. to, to accept that of yourself and, and saying, well, you know, I'm having a shitty day. I yeah, feel and, it's, awful and it's empowering. Today. It's empowering. Right. And, and it's, your, and like you called it your GPS, it's your GPS. It's your starting mm -hmm. point. Exactly. Every single morning, it's your starting point. Be aware of your starting point, where you are and where you want to get to today. Right. So that's, yeah. that's in a, in a daily thing. And mine goes deeper with your dreams and goals and where, you know, determining where you want to be. Um, you know, you know, that because you're, you've dreamed this, this is something right. you're thinking of, but you need to evaluate where, where am I right now? What, right. so that you can determine the steps that you need to do to yeah. be able to move yeah. forward. Yeah. It's you a know, map. So again, it, it is. And so what you and I do ties together so well, you yeah. know, so I'm, I'm, I'm very happy and blessed to have you with me today. And so talking about, you know, all those things, the topics I've shared this week, you know, so I want to say, and I want to tell everybody, you know, if you try something and you fail, go back to what you knew, you know, and, and what you're comfortable with and take a breath. Don't, you know, just take a breath. And that's just like I talk about and share in my book about how I have people build their own three ring binder. Yeah. And what that is, is that's your safe place. That's what you go back to so that if, cause life happens to everyone, you know, if you need to set it aside, you know, what you're working on, if you need to set it aside, you have everything in the three ring binder and you can go back to that and start where you left off when you're ready after you've taken that breath. Yeah. You know, um, so that, 
um, you don't stop, you know, it keeps you from completely stopping. You know, we all need to take a breath with the yeah. GPS. We get rerouted, you know, yeah. there's yeah. You know, <laughs> detours in the road. Yes. Okay. So talking to that, so go back to that comfort zone. And for, for, for me and my clients, and when I talk about it, it's that three ring binder, you mm -hmm. know, take that breath. And if you try something and you succeed, you know, you're headed into uncharted territory you know, and, and that's exciting, but it's also nerve wracking and fearful. And, yeah. And fearful, you know, there's, there's things there that are different and things are going to change. Yeah. And that's a topic, to whole different topic for a different week and fears <laughs> and, and all that stuff that we can talk about another time. But, you know, I just wanted to say, you know, this is something that I am so glad that you joined me to do. Yeah. Because I think yeah. Me too. It, it, it can make a difference for people if they really, you know, get into what they have for those fears. In Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and when you talked about um, the whys, um, that's my, my big why is um, it's, my whole my whole thing is all around um, putting putting more love out into the world. That's my ultimate message. That's my big message, is is to to bring more love into the world in everything that I do, and to come from a place of love with everything I do. And that's my why. And and I think um, I I think more of us need to define that why for ourselves. Um, and, and with your book and, and what you teach, that's helping people to define their why. And, and it's so important. If, I mean, we can have our GPS, we can have a map, we can know where we are and where we want to go. But if we don't have the reason to do it, what's the point? Right. That, right. that why is so important. It's, it's part of the GPS. It's yeah. not just point A to point B. It's why are you going to point B? Exactly. What's the point in going there? Why are you doing it? That, um, that why to me is like the guiding star in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. You know, exactly. that, that is what, you know, keeps you moving. Yeah. yeah. Uh, having that why. And for me, again, the why is making um, those positive differences. Yeah. You know, seeing and hearing wonderful stories. Yeah you yeah. know, of people achieving and accomplishing their dreams. You yeah. know, I work with people right from the weaving of the dreams and putting them together with smarter plans and actionable steps, you yeah. know, all the way through and dealing with those fears that we all have, you yeah. know, how do we get through this and have that, you know, courage and consistency to work through <laughs> yeah. until the end, until achievement. Right. So, Wonderful. Again, thank you so much for joining me. And, you. you know, it, this has been fun. It's been great. And I hope to have you on again. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and I apologize for my little soul buddy, Winston. He, uh, <laughs> the mailman came and a person walked down the sidewalk and the dog next door <laughs> is barking and, and he's, he's very vocal. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, hey, again, that just shows we're real. <laughs> That's right. But, hey, until then, um, next, um, I'm doing my, um, the vodcast. So this is keep focused on your future, you know, right. so thanks for joining me. And until next time, um, I'm, we're going to share in the show notes. Um, oh so yes, and I, I would love to. I would love to give something to your viewers if that's okay. Yeah. Um, the the checklist that I was talking about is um, is available, and I'd love to share that with everybody. So if your listeners or viewers yes. um, would like to go to my website barbaraancookson.com, uh, there's a link at the top for uh, I call it the ASY checklist, a superhero you checklist. Just click on that, and they can download. Um, uh, the checklist to use every single day and it, and it comes with instructions. So no wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you. Marie. Yeah. You're welcome. And thank you. And, uh, you know, for people who are interested in getting a little deeper into, um, finding about what I have available to offer on my website, patriciajoegrover.com, I actually have the seven steps that I recommend people go through before they actually 
spend any money with me because it's to me it's not all about the money i don't want it i don't want your money unless you want to work with me to move forward right so you know it's all there at patriciajoegrover.com there awesome. well wonderful and so we'll see you again yes bye. have a great day patty thank you bye bye, bye.